Hello viewers, today we're going to be drilling a drain hole in this Frigidaire air conditioner. This is a 25,000 BTU model. It's the one that looks like that. That's the front cover for it. All the sizes are pretty much the same design. So this process is applicable to most, if not all, of the ones in this series. Now this is a somewhat debated topic. Some people say don't drill the hole. The manufacturers say don't drill the hole. I say drill the hole. And most other people that are interested in old equipment that's been around for 30, 40, 50, 60 years say drill the hole. The reason being is because drilling the hole will prevent significant amounts of rust and it will also help cut down on mold because you don't have water just standing in the system all the time. In theory, keeping the water in the system will keep the condenser cooler and that might be true but whatever efficiency is gained from that is not worth the machine rusting out and failing prematurely or getting moldy. So we're going to drill a hole. I have a block of wood here which I'm going to put in here like this so that if the drill bit slips it will hit this and not go into the refrigeration line. That white piece of styrofoam right there is where the condensation come out. You can in fact see some condensation there has come out from uh, just moving it around after I used it last. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill the hole and I'm going to drill it right around where that that bead of water is. I'm going to start with a small drill bit for better control and then I'll move to a bigger one. And I know the lighting in here is, is pretty abysmal but this is just this is what I have to work with here. Okay, so we got through. Now I'm going to switch to a larger drill bit. It's going to be hot, so I'll let that sit there for a minute. I like to go at least a quarter inch. I think this is a uh, five eighths because if you just do like a like that size, it'll constantly clog up over time. Anytime you get junk from outside or whatever and they'll just keep clogging up. So we're going to enlarge it to this size. Yeah, I get some more water. This is heating up too much. The hole is there. Now we got to clean it up a little bit so I can put the glue on. That's the next step. What I'm going to do with the glue is I'm going to put a bead of hot glue right along there to keep it from exiting and going into the uh, into the condenser area. screwdriver and uh, just kind of scrape off these sharp edges. It doesn't really matter because you're not going to see this part. It'll restrict the water flow so we're just going to 
Very carefully get that off of there. And if you really want to be uh, thorough, you could now put a little bit of paint on there to stop any kind of rust. Now on the bottom, which is more of an issue because could potentially grab down there. On the bottom, uh, I know it's upside down, but uh, huh, where is it? Where's the stinking hole? Well, I can't seem to be able to show it, but it's got, uh, oh, there it is. Um, see how it's all got sharp edges down there? I'm going to try to clean that up a bit because I might grab it there and have a nasty surprise. I just vacuumed again. Now I'm going to just wipe it off with a damp paper towel and get all of the metal shaving remnants out of there so that the glue sticks properly. Okay, so now, a little bit more vacuuming here. Alright, so now I'm going to take the hot glue and uh, let me make sure that you got a good angle of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wall with the hot glue that will prevent the condensation from coming past uh, past the hole and into the condenser because we don't want that. Despite what some people say, it is very bad. I'll let that dry and then I'll add a second layer, although I think that that probably is good enough. Yeah, the water is, is going to, it's not going to build up, it's going to go out of the hole before it really gets that, gets that high. Uh, but that should do it. That should keep all the water going out that hole and not into the condenser area. Now, in my particular situation, this will be protected from the rain. But if your machine is not protected from the rain, and you have one of these newer units that has the openings on the top, you're going to get this filling up with rainwater. So you'll have to drill a second hole in there. Uh, we just got to be careful of the, the tubes in there. But in my case, I don't need it because it's not going to experience any rainfall. So that's the hole. It should let all the condensation pour out of the machine and into a bucket or however you want to collect it and not go into the condenser area and rot and rust everything out.